the sun and all the stars are burning with a source of energy that is much more powerful than anything we've seen. That source of energy is clean, it's safe, it's limitless. Fusion is the ultimate source of energy for humanity. What we are trying to do at Proxima is to replicate that fusion reaction here on Earth. To contain the plasma, we are building a device called a stellarator, which by means of a magnetic field can contain a plasma and replicate the conditions necessary to achieve that fusion reaction. QI stellarators have moved from being a physics focus to an engineering focus, and that's because of high temperature superconductors and advanced computing, a number of technologies that have really come together and that now are massively accelerating our progress. Whether it's with data centers and AI, or whether it's giving energy security to the planet, the moment we can bring fusion to humanity, we can fundamentally enable human ambition to reach further. Benderstein Sieben X is the most advanced stellarator on the planet. It was built by the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics in Germany, and it is truly a vision for what a fusion power plant looks like. Compared to the more conventional tokamak design, the stellarator is much more complicated to design and more complicated to manufacture. The advantage of a stellarator is that it's intrinsically steady state, so it's much easier to imagine as a continuously operating power plant. These modular QI stellarators, which stands for quasi-isodynamic stellarators with these individually shaped coils, can actually work in a real system at a scale that we needed for a fusion power plant. We are building on the work that have been achieved by the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics. One is the demonstration of Einstein 7 x itself as a concept. Then secondly, we are building on the physics basis. So we're using the performance that the plasma there shows in order to model the performance of our stellarators. And then thirdly, we are building on the optimization and simulation capabilities that have been recently addressed that show that we can engineer and design now accelerator plasmas that overcome these leftover challenges that the Wendenstein 7 x accelerator has. Our first major hardware milestone is what we call the Stellarator Model Coil, or the SMC. We see the magnet technology as the most system-defining of all of the components. By demonstrating in a full-scale magnet, we can prove that we truly have the technology needed to build a Stellarator. We are able to use high temperature superconductors to really increase the field force in the magnet. When we talk about HTS, it's effectively the tape that we're building into the cable that then sits within the frame to create a coil. The advantage is that you're able to run them at a higher temperature, but we're actually going to keep the temperature low, that gives more performance from the tape and that intensifies the magnetic field that we're able to generate. We can then take that and drive down the scale of a stellarator, and we actually make it something that's quite credible for us. Our main goal is to produce stellarators for fusion power plants. We're targeting a first of a kind in the 2030s. The most significant step on that path line is first demonstrating net energy in the stellarator. The machine we're targeting to do that in, we call that Proxima Alpha. In 2031, Alpha will demonstrate for the first time a fusion gain of greater than one in the stellarator. That means that the plasma will generate more energy than we put in. This is a demonstration that this concept works for energy production. Stellaris is a conceptual design of a fusion power plant that has been created by Proxima Fusion together with its partners, especially at the Max Planck Institute of Plasma Physics, as a way to really share with the world the rate of change of research in this domain and the fact that we now have a vision for what a fusion power plant really should look like. First of all, Stellaris demonstrates feasibility on both the plasma physics and the engineering systems that surround the plasma. That combination of meeting all the physics and engineering criteria at once, that's transformational. What was particularly enabling for this design was this integrated modeling framework that we have here at Proxima Fusion that allows us to design a fusion power plant that fills multiple design targets at the same time. 
we have a fully integrated simulation stack, which goes from optimization of the plasma physics through generation of CAD geometries and then detailed engineering analysis of each of the key subsystems. And it allows us to do three things that are totally necessary for a Stellarator. The first is the geometric challenge. We can do complete automation. And then the third is it allows this integrated engineering. We can shortcut a huge amount of communication across the team because everybody's using the same platform. We're able to integrate the expertise from W7X and produce this groundbreaking result. Fusion offers the opportunity to access clean, limitless energy anywhere on the planet. And that fundamentally changes the geopolitical balance. It changes the way we think about energy security. It can really change fundamentally the way humanity works. What we're doing now is really creating an ecosystem around Proxima here in Europe where we could ramp up the production at scale once our first-of-a-kind power plant gets demonstrated. We have the learning, we have the data, basically the physics behind it. And the question is how do we turn that into reality? We're able to iterate and build on examples, take that experience, and then work out how do we start accelerating so that endpoint gets closer and closer as fast as possible. At Proxima, we envision a cleaner, brighter future powered by the stars.